Hey there everybody, it's Lisa here with Island Pearls Live. How is everybody going live from Cath Limit, Washington, opening some saltwater aquaria oysters and retrieving some beautiful pearls. I'm gonna wait for some people to pop on here. Give you guys some updates about what's going on for the weekend. Actually, don't know what's going on for the weekend because we're supposed to be going at the fair on Friday. So we're going live from the fair. Uh, you don't have any reception down there. True story. So hi, okay. Shaylin. Hi, Kimberly. How are you guys this evening? Late afternoon. Hello, Miss Sheila. Hi, Sophia. Hi, babe. Sheila. Hello, Amy. How are you guys? Miss Sheila, are you feeling better? I hope so. Hi, Miss Diana. Diana, you have a um, item to claim here. You won a drawing last night. We need your information. We need you to go to the drawing winners option on our page and fill it out and get it sent in to us, please, and thank you. Awesome. Hi, Miss Vicki. So Bo's still not here. He's skipping out on us. No, really, he's at a conference in uh, Colorado. He's in Denver. He's actually getting sleep and hanging out at the conference. He's probably loving it, loving the break. Hey, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly, for sharing. Awesome, guys. Make Yes, share, share, share. So we had a decent amount of people on here last night. That was nice. Uh, by the way, guys, look at these earrings. Do you see these earrings? Look at those. These also are my pearls that Bo set for me. Love this set of earrings. There's a cubic zirconia right there and then there's a hoop with the pearl set out front. Love it. Oh my God, you're getting close. I know. Miss Diana. Uh, go to our website, islandpearlslive.com, click up at the top of the um, header on the page, click drawing winners option, fill out the information form, and it'll send us your address and such so that we can get it sent to you and have a tracking number. Thank you, Miss Amy. I love them. It's the first time I've worn them. I absolutely love them. By the way... Auntie Pearl and I may have been shopping online for some more jewelry. Can't we're not purchasing yet because Bo's not here, but we may have just been checking it out. Just so you're all aware. You're welcome, Miss Diana. We had over a hundred viewers at one point, so we did another um like, share, follow drawing, and you were the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hi Katrina. Thank you for sharing, my dear. So, what's everybody up to this afternoon? It's Tuesday. Not quite hump day. That's tomorrow. Oh, I'm not opening your oysters tonight, Amy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just kidding. I'm opening them. Just kidding. Okie dokie. Tonight's party is from Miss Kimberly Booth. I'm going to see if she'll pop on here. For some reason, it wouldn't let me tag anybody. Usually, it lets me, but on the tablet, it wouldn't let me today. It's rained all day. Oh. Yuck. We've had a nice day. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Well, good luck in your ventures. Good, Miss Donna, how are you? Miss Donna, I got you entered into the drawing for the photo bucket, by the way, just so you know. Hi, Miss Darla. So, we, like I said, we have um, Miss Kimberly Booth for the opening. Also, guys, we 
have our $35 special, which includes one oyster and one plated Cajun chain. So I'm going to share it right now. Hi, Marie. Oh, whatever, Miss Donna. Is that what you're cracking, laughing about? No, no. Oh, my face? Whatever. Just laughing at my face. Oh, wait. It was kind of funny. I just pinned it to the top of the post, guys. It is the special offer of the Oyster and Plated Cage for 35 and apparently it just entered, uh, I don't even know. It just added it twice. I'm not really sure why it did it twice. Hey, Sasha. Oh, my, Darla. They've had a lot of rain. You've had yucky weather. Hi, Monica. How is everybody? I am good. I get up early this morning, go take my daughter to the orthodontist, just for them to tell me that I'm going to have to pay lots of money for braces, <laughs> and then off to one job, home again, back to, and then here, back to another job to hang out with you guys. Oh, wow, Darla. I know, look, people are starting school really early, I feel like, this year. Or maybe we just start really late, I guess. Oh, 100. Yeah, that's too warm for me. Like 80, 80 is like perfect. You can actually still enjoy the weather outside and not feel like you're sweating to death or going to have heat stroke. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Mo. Okay, Mo. No problem. Awesome. Okay, so... We uh, will be playing Blingo. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, but we will be playing. So if you guys want to get your Blingo numbers in, you're more than welcome. Any five numbers from 1 to 75, post it in the comments. Make sure to write your numbers down and screenshot them. On the event that you win, I need you to repost your numbers real, real quick so we can do a quick reference. And then send a text message or screenshot backup so that uh, we can verify the numbers. Oh my camera, yeah, I know. I have the WTF weather app, and I don't know if you guys have it, but I know some of you guys do, because you guys said so yesterday, but it's hilarious, the stuff it says on there. Hey, Katie. How are you, my dear? $35 special tonight includes one oyster opening and one plated Cajun chain, any of your choice that we have that are the plated cages. It's actually a really good deal. Hi, Miss Shirley. Hey, Miss Vicki. How are you? Oh, yeah. Shirley, how is your husband? He he lost um, a family member, I believe, is what I'd seen on your post. I said prayers for you when I seen that. Breaks my heart. Loss is always the hardest thing. Absolute hardest thing. Oh, no, Miss Darla, that's not good on the paycheck. Two days in a row. Awesome, Donna. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Melissa. Okay, so again, $35 special, uh, it's just so you guys know, oyster, one plated Cajun chain, and we have only a couple of openings tonight. Uh, one of them is Miss Dana, or Dan, I, don't, I think it's Dana, Kavanaugh. She put in an order last night after we were already offline, and I messaged her and let her know we were going to be opening tonight. However, somehow she got locked out of her Facebook. So I was corresponding with her, told her I'd push her out to the last and try to not open it without her. And she said she's trying really hard to get here. She can use her messenger still, but can't get into her Facebook. So I don't know what's going on. Anyhow, we have Miss Amy. Is it Moray or Mori? A or E? Barrett. Oh, thank you for sharing, Miss Diana. 
Did you uh, have you got to fill out that form yet? If not, it's not a big deal. You can fill out after the show. Uh, we just want to make sure that you are able to claim your prize. Claim, claim, claim. Okay. Uh, yes, Miss Sheila, I believe so. The Moon and Star Cages. We just ordered them a couple days ago. They should be here very soon. They should be here very quickly, Miss Sheila. We will let you know. Would you like us to save one for you? And put it aside, Miss Sh uh, Sheila? Hello, Amber. Aw, thank you, Merla. You could be addicted to much worse things. That's what I tell people all the time when they say, I'm addicted to watching pearls. And I was like, you could be addicted to much worse things. It's okay. We're okay that you're addicted to us. Because we love all you guys. Love sharing our day. Just one, Miss Sheila. Yeah, Auntie Pearl just wants to make sure that she saves whatever you'd like. Oh, Amber uh, wants to know if we can look up a dream catcher. I'm sure you've just seen that, but. That was on my list. But it was on your list? But I got vetoed. Really? Yes. I got the football too. So. But I tell her we're working on that. We're working on that dream catchers? Okay. Andy Pearl got... just has to convince Bo. Well, on silver, we don't order a whole lot at a time. We like to see who likes it, and um, so, you know, sometimes we have to reorder. But. Hi, Carol Ann. How are you tonight, sweetie? Good, Miss Cinnamon. How are you? Good, good. By the way, guys, get your numbers in for Blingo. We're going to be playing here soon. Uh, not exactly sure when, but soon. Hello, Miss Anna. Hi, Megan. Awesome, Katie. Okay. Miss Amy. We're trying to hold off on Miss Kimberly Booth's uh, oyster opening for her hosting. Um, by the way, like I said, guys, there is the plated cage and chain with oyster special that's for 35 just so everybody's aware. Okay, we're gonna get 10 oysters for Miss Amy. She was the first order for the night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I had a good day. Did you, Miss Anna? Busy as always, but a good day. A day that we're upright and walking is a good day, right? I will see what I can do, my dear. No promises, but I will see. I will try. Darlene lives near railroad tracks. She's watching trains go by. Awesome. You know what? Um, it would be so loud and obnoxious at first when you first moved to the train tracks. I'm sure you would agree. But then you just get used to it. It's like living next to the freeway or a highway or anything like that. What's wrong, Monica? I am sure, Mo. Um, <coughs> more of no. the other stuff happening. Sending good vibes. Yes, Miss Katie. We do have pistol cages. Exactly, Miss Anna. Awesome, Miss Amy. I will keep your shells for you then. Make sure that when you get them, they're probably going to be a little bit smelly, but uh, we try to wash them and uh, wipe them down. Make sure that you uh, like wash them in like a light dish soap. Wash them and then lay them out to dry really well before um, using them for anything. Yes, and... Yes, Miss Katie, did you hear me? That I do. We do have more pistol cages, my dear. Only 
only the pretty one, she said. They're all pretty. Oh, Look at it, we said it at the same time. Uh-huh. Oh man, Miss Darla. He, um, a lot of people um, that work the railroad work there until they're uh, until they're quite older, actually. I thought no, I thought I had thrown the oyster in there, but it was the shell. It was the back side of the shell, and from here it kind of looked like the oyster. And thought, oh gosh, did I just throw? Look at this beautiful rose. Beautiful rose pink. Make sure you guys are sharing to all your groups as well as long as you have gotten approval from the group uh, admins. Okay, guys. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Five, five and a half, six, six and a half. By the way, guys, these would also make, uh, if you guys ever want to do something um, for birthdays, wedding, like uh, bridesmaids gifts, anything like that, some type of a little party from like, you know, three or more um, openings and jewelry, let us know. We are more than happy to set up some type of uh, fun gift box type situation and send it to you guys with multiple openings, cages and such for you. It would be, I think it would be a great idea for like a preteen or teen birthday party doing oyster openings with uh, everybody gets like the matching cage and chain or um, bridal parties. That would be fun. Uh, everybody has a different color pearl, but everybody has the same setting. Also, um, I just think, I actually think little girls would love it as a birthday party like gift too. It would be amazing. Good, Miss Jamie. Thank you for asking. Hi, Leola. How are you tonight? I'm seeing no comments right now on my tablet whatsoever. That's always amazing. Second birthday, the princess cage? Princess cage, like the princess carriage or the, little, the mermaid one or um, dragonfly. Is there something she likes? Um, okay, so I want to show you guys something. Kitties. Look at these earrings that Bo set for me. Look at these. They are gorgeous. They have a cubic zirconia. They're round uh, circle and the pearl is set out front. Gorgeous. Love them. I just think that these days people can spend so much stinking money on birthday parties, like literally so much money. Uh, this would be something that the kids could keep forever. That would be really cute, Katie. That would be great, Miss Katie. Girls have fried chicken. Oh, so we just talked, talked about that last chicken. night. Ah. Who? Somebody else had it last night, and I was like, oh, Auntie Pearl and I were like, oh, fried chicken sounds amazing. Never mastered that. My grandma used to make the best fried chicken. Grandmas do. You know, know. Is Here is the next one for Miss Amy. Ooh, look at that big parasite by my finger. Look at that. Everybody get your numbers in for Blingo, by the way, guys. Numbers in for Blingo. Special today. One oyster, one plated cage and chain, $35 purchase price. Go to our website, islandpearlslive.com. Check us out. Uh, halfway, Miss Sheila. They're um, they are mounted out front of the um, of the hoop. We will keep that in mind, Miss Donna. Oh, this is a moisty, meaty. Oyster for sure. <laughs> and I don't want my twins thing anymore, but it is a set of twins. I all I've kept all the stuff packed up in my suburban so we didn't have to repack it again for the fair this weekend. I love green fried tomatoes too. Um 
Uh, Miss Leola, you can use, you can use like uh, the fine grain sand. You can get it even at the dollar store. You can put the, the fine grain sand in the bottom and put it in there. They will be fine. Just not any salt or a no, nothing like that. Um, and nothing else would they really um, settle into. They'd all roll around. Look at this beautiful set of black. Hi, Mindy. Hey, Robin. Well, why has it been so long, my dear? Where have you, have you been? Yes, it's good to have you back. Always. Six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half set of twins. Look at those. They're gorgeous. See, Amy and I are on the same page. She just said gorgeous right as I said that. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? We are going to be playing Blingo here soon, guys. Get your numbers in, please, and thank you. I'm awesome, Miss Robin. Awesome. Camping is so much fun. We just have no time to allow it. Not at all. If I didn't work 753 jobs, <laughs> we would have time. This is like one dried up oyster, like the meat ripped apart. This is going to be, that one's going to be in the, in the trash. Yes, Miss Robin, I agree. Good, Miss Vanessa. Um, like a, like the mauvey pink, yes, not a bright pink, but the mauvey pink ones, yes, Miss Marie. So what do the numbers range from in your lingo? Uh, numbers range from 1 to 75. Any five numbers from 1 to 75, my dear. We've never had Look at pink. this beautiful, this is look, champagne color, look at that. I like that one. It's a beautiful champagne color. Gorgeous champagne, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Thank you, Amy. I think, I just thought of this. For all of you guys who are on Pearls After Dark, I don't know what day it needs to be in September, but I think in October it needs to be on Friday the 13th. Sounds like a good night. That'd be spooky. Friday the 13th. Hi, Chastity. I'm thinking Friday the 13th is a good night. <laughs> Amy, I, I just took that somewhere different. But yes, of course. We can do a horror theme for sure. I think it will be fun. But it's got to be silly because I don't want to get scared. You will never know what we can come up with. I used to have lots of Halloween stuff, but I moved to a house that's like no kids ever come to anymore. So, um, I got rid of all of it because I was like, there's no point in it just taking up space in my garage. And it was a lot of space. One year we took our whole porch. We had like a nice porch that went up and it split off and there's a little deck right in front of, of our house and uh, went up quite a few steps, quite steep. We completely boxed in the entire thing, put black plastic. We had uh, net netting hanging down with like chopped off feet and hands and body parts, like internals, like all over. It was like really dark. We had a fog machine. And my friend Jessica actually grabbed some little kid's candy, joking as he came up because she was sitting in the chair all dressed up. He kicked her and ran off. It was the funniest thing. I was like, uh, yep, probably shouldn't take the kid's candy. <laughs> Here is a beautiful champagne. Um, Shauna's doing good, Miss Sheila, last I heard. Everything's going well. I know they've been having a lot of problems, though, with their poor dog, Wes and Shauna have. No baby yet. Uh, 
Awesome, Miss Shelly. Well, if it's your lucky day, you'll definitely have to order something on that day. Six, six and a half, seven champagne. I better get Miss Amy. That one's almost more yellow. It's kind of funny when you hold them up and when they're not by them or when they're by themselves, how much different they look than when they're all mixed like together or near each other. Oh, thank you, Miss Robin. Oh man, see, Mindy, we are the same way. Like, I live on Puget Island where, I mean, I used to live there when I was a kid. And we used to go, I remember as a kid, we used to just go around the Puget Island and trick or treat all the houses. And we would, if they were close together, we'd walk from house to house. If they're far apart, we'd just jump in, walk, you know, ride down the road, jump out, ride down the road, you know. And no more. I don't know, kids don't anymore. Miss Robin, I had a pirate and an anchor because I went to the Pirates Festival last weekend in Brookings, Oregon. Hello, Dad. Okay, Miss Amy. Next one for you. Hi, Willie. I'm hoping Miss um, Dana is able to get on here. Hmm. So, guys, we have a $35 special tonight. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Mm. I forgot to tell you something. Hold on, guys, just a second. It's going to be really sloppy, but I'm writing her a note really quick. It was 58. I didn't yeah, no, it was. He oh, okay. both texted me. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure, sure. Hey, Miss Paula. You're addicted to what, Katie? Us? You're addicted to me? Or just pearls? What are you addicted to? How are you, Miss Paula? Make sure to get your blingo numbers in, guys. Make sure that you write them down. Make sure you write them down. Here is a beautiful, this is like a light peach apricot color. Good, Miss Paula. You just no, them. you know what? I couldn't complain anyways. Nobody would want to hear it. Nobody. Nobody wants to. <laughs> Five and a half. Oops, six. Six and a half. Seven. Seven and a half. Oh, thank you, Miss Vanessa. You know, um, when I first started doing this, I was like, okay, I don't know about this. I don't know how many people were going to get on here. I don't know how, you know. However, then we started getting people on here and having fun. And some of the original people on here, they're like a family now. We get messages from them on the daily, you know, added them on Facebook, friends now. Uh, the PA girls are supposed to come visit us sometime and they better just saying Sheila mm -hmm. you and Barb and Karen awesome and Vicki yeah mm -hmm. you better come visit us <laughs> nice Miss Paula thank you oh thank you Katie Hello, Shaylin. Miss Diana, we have a $35 special. It includes a plated cage, chain, and one oyster opening. So you get an entire necklace set up for $35. Miss Amy's probably chomping at the bit. She's probably like, Lisa, just open those darn oysters already. Want to know what I have. But... You guys are my daily, well, four nights a week, my daily little uh, decompression. Hi, Erin. Check out that parasite. That makes Auntie Pearl so happy. Gotcha, Sheila. Yeah, I try to ignore those.
Well, Miss Sheila, they make airplanes. I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> trains, airplanes. What is that old movie? Planes, trains, and automobiles? Hi, Erin. What is up with this? This here. That one. That one's like really scratchy. Yeah. We'll open you up a new one, Miss Amy. That one's nacre was yucky. So those those ones that have bad nakers, I'm going to save from now on. Not send home to everybody because they're bad. And I'm going to use them to start stringing. Practice. Yeah. Practice will make perfect. I can't wait. How many people want us to do a string of pearls for them when they get them? You should see Auntie Pearl's face right now. That last one smelled well, funny. I smelled my fingers. Why did they get <laughs> Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> um, yes, Miss Diana, do you, um, we are not opening on the 17th. I'm trying to think. Today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so do you want to open tonight? If you open it tonight, you might likely have it by the 17th. You might actually have it by your birthday. Well, maybe the day after your birthday. So we're not opening again until the, I believe it's the 18th. Tuesday. Friday, yep, the 18th. And I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do for that day anyway because it is our local fair and we have a booth at the fair. So I'm not really sure what's happening with that. I don't know. I know. Uh, Amy and Vicki, I'm so excited. I want to have it. Hi, Elizabeth. I want to have a string of pearls. So I'm going to do a, um, a bracelet first. Keep it simple. The kiss method. <gasps> Wait till you see what color I got. We had this last night. It's gorgeous. That midnight blue. Like that midnight has a little, like a tealish blue. I don't know. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that, Miss Amy. It is beautiful. Everybody make sure to get their blingo numbers in. Any five numbers. Yeah, Dad, I already got it. Any five numbers from 1 to 75, post it in the comments. Make sure to write it down and screenshot it. I will be calling numbers here shortly. The first person to get all five numbers and reply bingo or blingo. Oh, by the way. Bingo or blingo in the um, comments they then win a prize. If there's more than one, then we'll do a little dueling match. Each will pick a number and then I will roll one more ball and it'll, whoever is closest to that number without going over will be the winner. What, Miss Paula? What was really? Really, Lisa? About what? Oh, blue. Darn it. Miss Paula caught me. Uh, Miss Diana, we have thirty, fifty, and one hundred dollar grab bags. They're all a, a great value. Fifty and the hundred dollar grab bags, though, get to pick a punch off the punch board, and they could win a um, an extra or like a fifty dollar grab bag. They could get a tray. That's an amazing deal. Miss Elizabeth, send me uh, send the message to us um, on our Facebook page. Send it in Messenger. Just send your numbers to us real quick. It, we aren't going to play right this minute, so you'll be safe to send it to us and come back on. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. That midnight blue is amazing. Yes, Miss Diana, you are more than welcome to order now, my dear. Um, Miss Robin, uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I'm not putting a time on uh, the games anymore because <coughs> I lose track of it and then I feel bad. Then everybody's like, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. And I'm like, sorry. So we're just going to, everybody's going to have their numbers in and I'm just going to be like, oh, okay, let's play. Does that work? Have a nice dinner, Darla. Enjoy your fried chicken. We're jealous. I'm going to have to fry some chicken for uh, Auntie Pearl and I. Forget those stinking boys. Yes. So do you want to hear my fried chicken story? Sure. 
I would buy fried chicken at Kentucky Fried or, you know, a chicken, wherever, that because I don't make it. Right. And I went to a girlfriend's house and she was making chick, fried chicken. And Bo said, oh my gosh, real chicken. Wasn't the other real? I don't, he was just like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Like, <laughs> he just meant like home fried. Yeah. Real chicken. Real. Oh, I love green fried tomatoes. Ah. Okay. Miss Amy, the next one is like a light peach color. I think it might actually match the first one we pulled out. Awesome, Miss Leslie. Thank you for sharing your numbers. Six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half, like a peachy color. Distracted. Yeah, that's easy to do. Oh, I know, isn't it though? I was looking behind me to see if the Scentsy was on. Couldn't tell. It is. It is. So, uh, does anybody have big plans coming up for the weekend? I still can't believe that so many schools are already starting. Quite a few of my friends are like, oh, first day of school, first day of school in the last couple days. And I was like, really? Silver. Almost two weeks now. It's crazy. Yeah. They do year round and it's it's their schedule. Five. Five and a half, six, six and a half. Three. Don't they get more like three day weekends or four day weekends or something or two weeks off here and there or yeah, something like that? Billy says it's like crazy because how do you plan when to go and where to go and in, in the middle of <laughs> Miss Paula said Real chicken as opposed to fake chicken? Auntie Pearl, were you feeding him rubber chickens? I think so. Miss Diana, are you friends with me on Facebook? <coughs> and what did you want to order? I can send you a direct link, my dear. You're moving away, Miss Katie, or you're just going for a visit? Oh, just for a visit. Oh, well, th we're going to miss you on here, Miss Katie. You better go live from there and share us with them. I know colleges always usually start, um, you know, they are mixed up dates actually too as far as when they start. But I know usually universities start earlier and get out earlier and then the community colleges start a little later than public schools, but still get out a little early. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, we're going to go see the solar eclipse. Oh, wow. That's going to be cool, though, Miss um, Amy. You are going to have to try to video it. wonder if you can get a very good video of it. Oh, uh, Miss Paula, close your eyes. Look at this beautiful blue, Miss Amy. Okay, Miss Katie, sounds like a plan. Okay, Miss Diana, I'm going to send you a message really quick. Everybody be patient with me. Just a second. I'm going to help her place her order. I'm going to send you a direct link. That was Miss Paula. I know it. She was like, uh, you're a jerk because you just opened <laughs> blue fur. Okay, Miss Diana. I just sent you a message, my dear. Check on your page, and it should be there. I know it was Miss Paula. She was like, Lisa, you seriously opened a blue for Amy again. Five and a half, six, six and a half blue. Oh. That's why I told you, Paula. That's salt. Uh, in the room. Yeah, that's why I told you to cover your eyes. You shouldn't have been looking. Grr. <laughs> awesome, Miss Sheila. You're like grandmother of the year. 
You see what she's in? She's already started getting her grandchildren ready. They've been working and they got two out of four book reports already. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. Your son, I believe, is um, the father of those the grandchildren you're talking about. He is very lucky to have you. Yes. Very, very lucky to have you. He opened two blue. I just wanted one. Just one. One day you will get your blue and then you'll be then it'll be a new color. I promise you it will be. I wanted a pink. Got a pink. Then it was a lime green. Um just a couple of minutes, my dear. That one, the meat ripped. I didn't get it quite good enough. Beautiful pink. Speaking of pink, and look what happens. Beautiful bubblegum pink. Love it. Love it. Six. Six and a half. Seven pink. Angry. I love pink. You got some really gorgeous colors. Yes, look at this, Miss Amy. There's no teal, but those two blues are stinking amazing. And the two different pinks. I see those angry faces, you little butt munches. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, awesome, Miss Sheila. That's amazing. Miss Bola, that wasn't me that time. Sure it wasn't. Okay. I see all this <laughs> angry faces. Uh uh-huh, Dad. I seen it. Your face. And I think I might have seen Miss Jamie Farmer. Brozzy. I think I might have saw those too. Okay, look at those beautiful colors, you guys. The set of twins. So while I was at the Pirates Festival, there was one lady that came in and bought two trays one day. And she went home and opened them. She got three sets of twins out of the two trays. She came back the next day and bought two more trays. They were pretty stinking amazing. I see all those angry faces. Sillies. Okay, so Miss uh, Dana Cavanaugh, I'm going to wait on her for a little bit still to see. Uh, if we can get her to get on here. Um, Kimberly Booth, are you on here yet? Okay, we are going to play some blingo, guys. Everybody's got their numbers in. Hello, Moisty Oyster. What is up? Miss Sheila was asking about Shauna and inquiring about how she was doing and how she was feeling. Aw, thank you, Miss Amy. We adore you. Moisty Oyster in the house. Give you guys just a minute or two. Hi, Chantel. How are you, Chantel? How are the little minions? That's what all little kids are to me, minions. Partly started school. Pretty They're cool. sweet and sour. Um, I'm opening for Miss Vicky Dumas next, Dad, after Blingo, and then it will be you after that. Hi, Cinnamon. The Vag Doctor. 
the JJ doctor yesterday and she's turning into that. Oh, Wes, that's good story. I'll tell you how all, all about how to induce that and help the process along later. That's a different conversation. That's a pearls after dark conversation. How's wiggles? Okay, guys, are we ready? Don't forget, I will also be posting them in the comments section. Oh, good, Mo. Good. Oh, of course, Chantel. Was she without a nap today? <laughs> some, some kids don't like shopping. 34. Yeah, some kids don't. My uh, my Cameron, she hates it. Hates shopping. She hates long trips. Oh, no, Wes. That's not good that he lost that much weight, but good that he's feeling better. 26. I have like a small mental breakdown when something is wrong with my dog. <laughs> I could afford to lose lots of 14 pounds at a time, Miss Monica. 35. <laughs> Multiple 14s. Oh my word, Chantel. Yep. And th she is so early to start that shenanigans. One. None, you have no other numbers, Miss um, Vanessa. Only 34. 59. Nineteen. Oh, that's nice, Wes. I guess there's positives, right? Mo, are you watching your brother's numbers for him? Twenty-seven. Sixty-one. Seventeen. Oh man, I just did that on accident. There we go. Forty-nine. Yes, Mo, he had forty-eight. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you tonight? Fifty-three. No spanking your sister, Wes. It's not okay. Not okay. <laughs> 51. 33. <laughs> nice, Jalen. Now my numbers aren't going to work for weeks. 72.
63. Oh, yes, of course. Share, right? Share and share like. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> One of these days you'll win. 47. Monica, I've never won this game. Didn't you come really close one time? Forty-one. Oh, sorry, Miss Kimberly. Forty-two. Well, isn't that weird? Forty. Then 41, then 42, then 40. Twenty. Twenty-one. Whatever, Amber, you're so goofball. Oh, runaway balls. Actually, it's a runaway ball. 29. <laughs> One out of five. Go me! 65. It's the innocent lunk luck of children. Innocent luck of children. Um, yes, Miss Diana. Ju um, actually, Miss Diana, send me your phone number in Messenger. Seventy one. Sixty six. Sixty nine. No blingos yet? 54. Um. Oh, sorry guys, I put them in, both in one message. Sorry. So what happens when Bo's not here, so we're trying to do multiple things. 45. You <laughs> crappy balls. Whatever. No, I'm, my balls are nice. Nice blue balls. Oh. 24. Oh no, Miss Michelle. I don't even have one number yet. 55. 28. 28. That is awesome, Wes. <laughs> Did you read what he said? 16. <laughs> Three. So far the numbers stink. Sorry guys.
52. <laughs> pick my numbers, LOL. <laughs> nice. I would if I could. Just pick them right out of here, Miss Cinnamon. 31. Do we have any locals on here? <laughs> nice, Wes. More magical? The more rubbing you do, the more magical they are, or what? 68? He said I need to give my bingo balls a good rubbing. 10. <laughs> Definitely not going to pick these up. Watch. Now, Miss Vanessa, next time it'll be all those numbers that come up. Did you call 18? No. No 18 yet, Miss Mindy. 70. Monica's crazy. So I'm loco. I'm crazy. 70. Guys, it's not blackout. It's not blackout, I promise you. 74. <laughs> Cinnamon, I quit. You tell me that every day and you don't quit. 75. <laughs> Leslie, with a blingo. Miss Leslie, can you give me your numbers, please, in the comments? And also send me your screenshot, please, and thank you. How's that for a cute face? 3, 27, 48. 3, 27, 48. Got it? 55, 74. That is a good blingo. I did not call five. Oh, man. Okie dokie. Put these all back. Miss Leslie, if you go out to our um, page, Island Pearls Live, on Facebook, if you just, um, once you're done watching, if you just, uh, in the search engine at the top of Facebook, type in Island Pearls Live, click on that, you can send us a message on our page, just much like you can any other person. If you go right to their main page, you can just click on send message and send them one. Oh, never mind, we got it. Auntie Pearl found it and we got it. Don't have to send it to us. You don't have to send it, my dear. Oh no, okay. However, Miss Leslie, you do need to go to our website, islandpearlslive.com. And up at the header at the top of the page is drawing winners is one of the options. Click on drawing winners and fill out the information form. Okay. Get that sent in to us. That way we can get your prize sent to you and we'll get it sent out um, in the next couple of days. Just keep in mind, guys, orders aren't going to be quite as quick this week as usual. Bo's not here, and he's the one that deals with all the shipping. Okay, night, Amy. You are most welcome, my dear. Thank you for joining us tonight. And I'm so happy that you love your pearls. Next time, we'll try for a teal. Okay. Yeah, I can use it. Um, I was just figuring I'd call afterwards and then we can I can use it. It's on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we put her in? Yes. Hi Robert. 
the Wakaikum County Fair. Miss Leslie, here is the cage that you won, my dear. Uh, go to our website, islandpearlslive.com. Click on the drawing winners option at the top of the page and fill out the information form. One day it will happen, Miss Cinnamon. It will. Just like the lime. Somebody gave me a lime and then all of a sudden it opened the lime. Oh, okay, Miss Vicky. We have Miss Vicky Dumas up next. I can get rid of that. We're opening up two trays for Miss Vicky. Awesome. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Let's see what we get here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, look at that. Vicky says if I get a teal, get the teal. Yes, oh. I see that. Okie dokie. We are going to be playing the numbers game next, guys. It'll be a, a little bit, but make sure to get your number in. One number from 1 to 75, post it in the comments. Make sure to take a screenshot. Write it down if you can't remember it. I guess you will have the screenshot. You can refer back. It's only one number, not five. <laughs> nice, Cinnamon. Uh, Cinnamon and Shaylin just put the same exact number up at the very same time. Not that that's a big deal. I mean, if that's the number that picks, then you guys get to have a little dueling match. Okay, hey guys, special tonight. One oyster and one plated cage and chain for $35. I pinned it to the top of this post so you guys are able to see it. Awesome, Shaylin. Now that is amazing. She Look at that parasite. Okay, hi Randy, how are you? Why in the heck did you change your name to Robert McDoodle? It's funny though. Oh, these are Miss Amy's. Is Miss Amy, Miss Amy, are you still here or are you already gone for your conference call? Miss Vicky, the first one I opened for you is a teal. Look at that, a beautiful teal. Six, six and a half, seven teal. No, Miss Cinnamon, you're fine. If it's the number that is chosen, you guys can have a little dueling match, it's not a big deal. Beautiful teal. So if you have a little bag, I'll give that. I know. Really, what's the luck, right? Uh, awesome. I will try not to miss Shaylin, but the good thing is we'll only be like 15 minutes from home if we do. Not eight hours. Because that then poses a problem. Just a slight bit. Being that many hours away. Oh, yes, Shaylin. Although, um, at, so you guys are going to laugh because at my uh, sister's house, my nieces were both fighting over who was going to sleep with me when I got there. Like, who's going to sleep with Auntie and cuddle with Auntie? So they ended up both sleeping in bed. It, it was a king size bed, thank God. Them and my son. So there is a three year old, a four year old, and a five year old or almost five-year-old, in my bed, in the bed. So they're laying the right way in the king-size bed, and I'm laying down at the foot of them, which means, guess what? I get a whole lot of feet. Yes, Miss Diana. So what I'm going to do, Miss Diana, is I'm going to open for you, and then after the show, I will call you and take care of the payment. Does that work? Oh, uh, thank you, Randy. 
I've got a, a pirate on the other finger. Thank you, Miss Leslie. And you are most welcome. Oh, this is a pretty color. That was a one meaty oyster. <laughs> yeah, the problem is husband's feet smell a whole lot worse than kids, so you can't sleep down the end of the bed. You're welcome. Look at this beautiful rose color. Look at that beautiful rose color. That is gorgeous. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half beautiful pink that will look really cute in that little um pig cage we have the little flying pig or whatever it is well hello amber i am back how are you i missed all of you guys i was able to go live from there but i wasn't able to chat very much because I, the people that were talking to me were in front of me and the camera was on the side of me so it made it really hard and oh this oyster is gross. Yep. Oh. Miss Vicky, you're lucky. I love you. <laughs> Ew. But we have Scentsy spray. Miss Leslie, if you order a tray, we will open the oysters for you and send you your pearls, or we can send you the oysters and you can do the opening at home. However, I'm sure it looks very appealing after I was just making all those faces because it really stunk bad. Bad. Look at this. It's like a pretty black with like a purple overlay to oh, it. Oh, it's got a lot of purple in it. A lot of purple. looking because it's just got funky color to it it's just because the oyster got lazy and so it's got weird ribbons of color look at that it's deep purple like a deep it's a black with a deep purple overlay to it six and a half seven seven and a half eight eight black blurple black and purple I'm gonna make up all my own names Oh, that blueberry cheesecake smells amazing. I'm pretty sure I sprayed it on my turkey, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out when I eat it. It'll taste like a turkey blueberry pie. Yeah. Yum. Mm. <laughs> That's not good. <clears throat> so, Miss Leslie, did I answer your question? And if... um. If you are wanting to order, you are more than welcome to do so now, and I will open this evening. I'm, well, uh, blueberry cheesecake is what was right here and reachable, and that is what saved the day. Mo said, uh, coconut yeah. lemongrass is better. On turkey? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beautiful peach. Beautiful peach. Six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half. You're welcome, Miss Leslie. If I could help you with anything, just let me know. I am more than willing to help. Usually we have a third set of hands in here helping, but he is gone for the, uh, I think, till tomorrow. Or the next day. One of those days. He comes in late tomorrow because he's going to be um, at the fair on Thursday, right? Yeah. Mo said, Mo said, nah, gravy's best on turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anytime you guys are wanting to order during our show, go ahead and do so. We just go back in and check our system. Uh, or as soon as you're done placing the order, when you come back in, just say, hey, place an order, guys. That way we know. Either way, I got 
got Leslie's information. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Leslie, for sending in your information so quickly. I really hate when we have uh, gifts sitting here for people, like prizes and winnings, and people don't claim them. Really? Uh, yes. She wants a princess cage. Because when you order that, you get to pick. Yeah, yes, Miss Katie, um, you can do that. There is a beautiful teal. You can order as much as you want on one order. And if there's, if you want them open, like if you wanted to open, like say two oysters, or if you wanted to buy one special and then you wanted an oyster and a princess cage to be opened on a different day or whatever, just put um, the specifics that you guys would like in your comment section on the order. The little comments box, put the, um, just put whatever you guys need done or want done in that little comment box and we'll be able to accommodate. <laughs> Dad, a swift kick right in the behind. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, uh, a cage with a chain and a pearl or an oyster opening, 35. Six, six and a half teal. Look at this teal. Gorgeous teal. No, Miss Shirley, we took care of everybody. I'm pretty sure we're caught up on the unclaimed, but I just, uh, now we just kind of set them here and uh, so I can, re and I kind of read through them and so I can remember when people pop online. Yeah, we try to keep up on them. By the way, I have this new toothpaste. Ooh, they're making My teeth are getting white. I love it. Somebody was asking about the gun cage earlier. Here is the little pistol, super cute pistol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Just, I was miscounting because we had given that one to Amy. Is the football cage sterling silver? No, it's plated, Miss Shaylin. So for plated cages, I try to wear them with a, a sterling or stainless chain. I feel like you get better life out of them. We tried to get the highest quality of plated that there is. Some of them will look really cheesy. Yeah. Um, I have a friend that actually sells it. If you want to message me, Leola, I will message you the name of it. It's no harsh chemicals. It's amazing. And I've only been using it for like six days. And there's already a difference. Look at this. This is like a, it's definitely champagne-y. Like that champagne-y. Mm -hmm. Champagne? Is that a new word? Yes. Mo, send me a message. Six, six and a half, seven. Seven champagne. -y. So. Do you get that from Colleen? Uh -uh, from my friend Sarah. Jesperson? Sarah Jesperson. You know the Jesperson's across the room? They're not so Oh. Mindy, I think I use the same toothpaste. It's amazing. It I is coffee stain. It is spendy per tube, but it lasts over a month a tube. So it's honestly, it's cheaper than if you use those stupid bleach strips, and it doesn't make your sense your teeth that sensitive like those bleach strips do, because those are so, so bad for your teeth. So so bad. Beautiful wedding white, gorgeous wedding white. So when Bo gets back, him and I are going to start working on trying to string pearls. Six and a half, seven, seven and a half white. No, Mo. It's 20. 23 with shipping. <laughs> awesome, Mindy. You know what? I win stuff all the time. Like, I'm telling you guys, I am actually pretty lucky when it comes to winning stuff. I win LuLaRoe all the time. In fact, this weekend, 
at the Pirates Festival, some uh, mom and friend and the mom's the little the daughter comes over they're just decked in lula and i was like oh my gosh lula i just love it blah 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 blah. i was talking to her she's like oh well i'm a consultant and by the way here have a free pair of leggings i was like yes it was awesome absolutely awesome <laughs> Paula, <laughs> just tell us. Awesome, Tim. Thank you. I got it. Auntie Pearl is on the spot. I got it. Oh my gosh, this one's really pretty. It's like that chocolatey purple. I don't know. You guys, it is so hard to tell. I hope I really, really wish that somebody after they got one of these would actually come back online when we're opening one and be like it's true it's a chocolatey purple it's a chirple okay sounds good Julie sounds like a plan have them call me or something or message me when they have them and I can stop by and get them no Miss Paula it does not five and a half six six and a half I would tell you guys, but I would want you to, if you looked it up, I'd want you to go find my friend Sarah and order it from her. See? Awesome. That's why the last name is familiar. Awesome, Tim. Thank you. I am Barb and Karen's brother. Oh, okay. We love Barb and Karen. Wasn't Karen our first order ever? First order ever. She opened like an at-home oyster or something. Yep, she got some at-homes. Yes, Mindy, it does. Aw, thank you, Miss Katie. Oh, awesome, Amber. Did you oh. oh Miss Paula? Miss Paula, can you like leave the building? <laughs> I'm gonna get this face again look at this it is another one of those purples I mean purples blues I can't even talk look at I, <laughs> I'm getting all kinds of angry faces look at it, it this one is one of those midnight blue again you got beautiful midnight blue hi babe five and a half six six and a half Miss Amy, here is the one that Miss Vicky gave to you, my dear. Miss Vicky is just a very kind-hearted woman, Miss Amy. I don't think that she's looking for um, an exchange of a pearl. I think that she just loves to be a very kind-hearted woman. She's an amazing soul. Hi, Steph. Okay, last one for Miss Vicky. It looks like it was half eaten already. He said you're still looking good as always. Aw, thank Aww. you, babe. Brittany, let's do Blingo. We are actually going to do the numbers game, guys. I will give you just a couple minutes to get your numbers in. If I can get this darn oyster open. Aha! This oyster is hiding something really spectacular because it does not want to let us in. Yes, Miss uh, uh, Miss Amber, Vicky did. Oh, it's because it was the color. It's stunning. Look at how purple that is. That is purple, purple. Very purple. It's gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous purple. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half purple. Do you see what Amy said? That's so sweet. I know, and then Miss Mon and then Monica said she gave me a pink. Aw, thank you, Miss Sheila. She is an amazing person. 
And that's awesome that you guys went to school with each other. And did you guys reconnect before you guys came on here? Or was it one of those things like, I think I went to school with you kind of thing? Or did who corrupted who, huh? Right? <clears throat> on the pearls. We don't mind. <laughs> Does it taste like blueberry? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Such a sweetheart, Miss, sweetheart, Miss Vicky. Okay. Let's bag up Miss Vicky's, and then we are going to play the numbers game. And then Willie Johnson, you are next. Well, was the one that corrupted Aaron. Who corrupted my son? <laughs> Who corrupted it? I don't think that Aaron had to corrupt straightened, your son. Straightened out my son. Hopefully they're talking to each other and not listening. No, Aaron says, yep, I blame Monica, but I'm thankful. <laughs> we are too. Yes, Steph, we do have a consultant in the house. We do, we do. And it makes the pearl room smell amazing. Earlier there was a really rotten pearl and... The blueberry cheesecake spray saved my life. Wait, what? She says, Aaron says, I had nothing to do with his corruption. He was corrupt far before her. No, she settled him down. I love her just for that. Okay, guys, numbers game. Everybody pick one number. One, just one. <laughs> I'm sure your day will be coming, Miss Cinnamon. Uh, no, Mo. No, Mo, no. She says Bo needs to join her posh team. <laughs> Bo's going to be the Oyster Sensi posh team. Okay, everybody, we are done picking numbers. It is time to draw. Okay, Amber. Any one number. Done, ready? Number four. Number four. Stupid balls. <laughs> Leola had number four. Leola had four. Anybody else have four? Leola one. Do you have a bag and I'll write her name on it for you? Miss Leola, you know how to claim your prize, right, my dear? Go to our website, islandproslive.com. Up at the top of the page, click on drawing winners. Or I'm a winner. I'm a wiener. And claim your prize, my dear. Miss Leola, you got a dolphin cage. By the way, this is super cute. It's got a little heart cut out. Super cute cage. Okay. Here is Miss Leola's. 
we have got Mr. Willie Johnson. Dad, are you there? Hello? 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 Willie Johnson. You're welcome, Miss Leola. Thank you guys for playing. I'm sure we'll play Blingo one more time before the end of the night. Miss Leslie? I did. It was a skull and crossbones cage. We just have a tub of cages. I reach in and pick one out. Where in the heck did my dad go? He ran away. Willie Johnson? Hello, Willie. Willie Johnson. I'm about ready to skip you. Did she not see it or something? Steph, so Steph knows Aaron, Aaron and Steph, how do you guys know each other? And I'm pretty sure I went to an event and that's how I met Stephanie. Steph Frost. Oh, hi, Dad. Does Steph sell Sunsy? Yes, I believe so. I think. Um, Dad, I'm just picking you a bag, a $50 bag. No, Miss Leslie, it does not. We try to keep our costs down um, on the jewelry and so you can purchase an oyster or not because some people, well, if they buy a tray, they don't obviously need another oyster necessarily with their cage so they can order a cage whenever they'd like. Or uh, jewelry mountings, all of our jewelry mountings are very uh, um, relatively inexpensive and um, includes the mounting price in it. So your oyster or your pearls and the purchase price, so one, two, three, four, five, how many of our pearls we need for the mounting. You pick them, make sure we get them, and then you purchase the, the setting, and we mount it for free. Yes. We do have the oyster in place. Oh, you're all on the same Sensi team, huh? Isn't that oh. funny? So Stephanie, Stephanie was at that event when I went to Vancouver, the first at-home event I went to. And she... So her and Aaron are on the same, yeah, so, and so Bo, Aaron, and Steph are all on the same team. Aha, the Sensi world. Yes, I miss Holly's. Dad, what number would you like up the punch board? Number, here's numbers 2 through 18. 2 through 18. Miss Diana? Keep that in mind, my dear, when it comes time to open your $50 grab bag. You, too, get a punch off the punch board. So you will get 2 through 18 minus whatever number he picks. Good night, Katie. Good night, Carol Ann. 13. 13. Okay. So you get one drop cage and chain. Holy cow, watch out. Very small world. Hi, Chris Ann. Two oysters. A bath scrubby. Oh, you and your little bear. Like, um, this is kind of like a, what is that? An apothecary. An apothecary. This would be cool to put your jewelry in, pearls in. That would be cool. A can strainer, those are awesome by the way, amazing, like for things like olives and all to drain the can. And some Hello Kitty socks, those will look super cute on you. <laughs> those will look super sexy, Dad, I'm pretty sure you'll catch a hot date with that. Be like, I wear Hello Kitty socks. Okay, two oysters. <laughs> he has uh, lots of granddaughters. I'm sure one of them will swipe the socks up. <laughs> it is my dad, and he has eight granddaughters and one grandson. Just one. Here is the first shell.
I am sure they will. <laughs> yes, I have five children. I have four girls and one boy. And each of my sisters has two girls. Huh, Dad, guess what color I just opened for you? Anybody want to guess before I lift my finger off of it? Anybody want to guess? Bring them home. <laughs> it's hidden in my fingers. Yes. Yes. Look at Yay. it's a cranberry. Oh, some of you who haven't been around here for a long time, my dad was actually trying to get reds. He wanted a, just a set of reds. It took him forever to get any reds. I would open reds for everybody else and not on purpose because we just dig out of this huge, ginormous bucket of oysters. And, yep, he would not get reds. Hey, Cassidy, how are you? Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. Seven red. Reagan, she wants some to do some art with them. Fine. She'll have to take pictures and send it to us. Well, I know uh, it is beautiful. I the reds are gorgeous. Our um, football teams here are red, black, and white. Well, the junior high is red and white. The high school is red, black, and white. And so I have a football cage, and I have uh, two reds and a white in my football cage. Looks super cute. Miss Diana, Miss Diana Rivera, where are you? Miss Diana Rivera, you're missing. <laughs> Just joking. I'll oh, shut up. Okay, we got Leota's uh, information. Thank you. Thank you, Leola. Well, hello, my dear, Miss Diana. Dana. And I have been holding off on yours, my dear. You have not missed it yet. Welcome. Now, I must know how you locked yourself out. It's a beautiful champagne. Miss Diana, which number would you like, my dear? Two through 19. Did I say 18 earlier? I think I did. Two through 19 minus number 13. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half. Look at those. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Where is Kimberly Booth? Mo, where is your sister? Is she home from work yet? By the way, guys, this is one of our items that we carry. It is, look at this, a, flex, a sterling silver flex bracelet. It is so stinking comfortable. And one of our sterling silver lotus cages with a pink pearl. They are pretty. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you're back. I told them the story at the beginning. I said, well, we have somebody that needs to open theirs, but, uh, oh, it's okay, Amber. Okay, Mo. Well, what I'll have to do then is I'll have to just open for uh, open her hostess thing, and maybe you can text her and ask her what cage she wants. Okay, Miss Diana, seventeen. Miss Diana, here is your fifty dollar grab bag. Aren't these super cute? Super cute gift bags. Number nineteen. So, she said 17. I mean 17. I don't know why I just opened 19. Because I don't listen very well. I don't follow directions. Imagine being married to me. Okay. Huh. Okie dokie, Miss Diana. You got... Oh my gosh, this is such a cute little purse. Look at this. A purse. And a blue apothecary jar. 
Blue apothecary. So you can store your pearls in here. They'll be safe and sound. Or you can store candy or whatever. Anything you'd like in your little apothecary. So there is your grab bag, my dear. And three oysters. So uh, Miss Diana purchased that grab bag for $50. And for that, she gets three oysters, which is already a $60 value. Plus, she got the purse and the apothecary. So come see us, Darla. We are in a faraway place, trust me. One, two, three. But we have fun. You can ask Monica Hughes. She's on here. She knows. She came to our house to visit us. We're pretty amazing people. I mean, if I do say so myself, of course. <laughs> oh. Uh, it could be an a-hole move or just, you know, whatever. <laughs> awesome, Miss Diana. First one for you. Um, did everybody get their blingo numbers in? We're going to play blingo again. Here soon, probably after we do a couple more openings, we're going to do some blingo. So any five numbers from 1 to 75, post in the comments. Make sure to take a screenshot. On the event that you win, we'll need the screenshot for, uh, for verification. Isn't that the story of everybody's life, Miss Darla? Mine too. Thank God for credit cards. That's how I got to my sister's. Diane wants her shell. You can. You can most definitely have them. When you get them, my dear, just wash them in some light soap and water. Like some dish soap and water. And then, wow, this muscle She's is... In, yeah, that's fine. Same number. Yes. Good Lord. That Ew. didn't want to let go. That's a needy. We got some twins. We got some twins. It is. It sounds like really stuck to the shell. Beautiful set of wedding whites. These are gorgeous. Imagine them in this set of earrings. Wouldn't that be pretty? Mm -hmm. So pretty. Six and a half, seven, seven and a half, seven and a half and an eight. One is just slightly larger than the other. Not even, I don't even know that you can necessarily tell like too much that there's a difference. And that's what's nice. If you have an earrings like that, they don't have to be. Yes, Miss Shaylin, I'll zoom in. Ready? So oh. there is a cubic zirconia and then the hoop and then this, the, see the pearl sets on like the front of the hoop. Awesome, Miss Diana. Happy anniversary. How many years? You're welcome, Miss Shaylin. I love them. These are two of my pearls that I've opened. And then uh, Justin bought me the setting and then both set them for me. Are you doing blingo? Yes, blingo. We're going to do blingo. Diana, one number. We're going to play blingo, my dear, not um, numbers game. Blingo. So any five numbers. Empty on that one. That was a cool shell, though. They're starting to make mabe pearls in there. Look at that in the inside. You can't even quite see it. I do. I've got some on my finger. Twins again! Oh my gosh. Miss Diana! Oh, those are my color. Ooh, one's different. a slightly more gold than the other. So this happens with twins often. Like, they aren't just like twins in real life. They are close to the same, but not. This one has got more of, like, a goldy uh, outside, and the other one's more of the mauve. They're both the mauve color, but one's got more of a gold overtone. Gorgeous twins. Oh 
no, Miss Darla, that's never good. One time, uh, Amber will Amber will laugh about this one. She's still on here. Six and a half, seven, seven and a half. We went to one of my mom's really good friends' house, and they raised turkeys. We were little. Well, we had our cousin Jesse with us, and Jesse had on a little set of uh, like diamondy cubic zirconia some earring something that was shiny and flashy anyway and one of the turkeys she wasn't much bigger than the turkey like looking each other in the eye basically and the turkey came over and pecked that thing out of her ear so quick and fast she was scared to death took off just freaking out it was pretty funny you are welcome miss diana one more for you one more wonder if we can make it three for three wouldn't that be amazing? That would be that like would a be, first. Yeah. Opening three or four sets a night is like a big deal. We've gone days without it. Oh. Okay. No twins in this one. But it's a beautiful, it's almost like a, like a pink champagne. Wouldn't you say like a light pink champagne kind of? Awesome. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Those are pretty. Beautiful. Miss Diana, I will make sure to call you as soon as we're done here. Okay? And get this all taken care of for you. Okay. Miss Diana, that is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Two sets of twins. Mr. Tim Whitmoyer. Has to be a nice guy. Has to be a good guy. I mean, we love his sisters. Their families just seem to be nice. Yes. I'm wondering where he's at in the placement of the, the girls. Are you the middle child or? Even flips them off my face too. Oh, nice, Darla. Her, her, um, her parent, her bird gets her glasses and flips them off her face. Oh. Is his name Henri? What did she say? Goblin. Goblin. Oh, he's the baby. How, how many of there is you? How many of there is you? How many of... Um, are yeah, are, are there? How many kids are there in your family? How's that sound? <laughs> He's the end. Vicky, that's what he said. Not the baby. He's the end. He's the bookend. He's the cap. Oh, oh Tim. So that's exactly like I have. I have five kids, four girls, and then my youngest is my boy. You were probably spoiled rotten by your sisters. I can only imagine. And you're probably a little devil child. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. I'm just, that's just assumption. You poor guy. Did you get hand-me-downs from your sisters? <laughs> I hated them, too. I hated wearing hand-me-downs. I'd hate them, too. It's like, so, I was kind of a drag queen for my first 18 years of life. <laughs> Tim Whitmore, we have a tray for him. One, two, oh, there's one that's got a broken seal. Three, oh, four, and five. He's being fun. I know. He's got to be. Okay, first one, we're just gonna get this possible stinky one out of the way. After we get Tim's open, we are going to open for Miss Dana Cavadon, and then we are going to play Blingo. Just so you guys know, that's when we're going to play Blingo. So if you want to share the post, and get people on here to watch and play Blingo, that would be great. It's good, good sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> nice dad by the way Tim that would be my dad Willie and your sisters absolutely love him they think he's just the greatest 
Okay, Miss Shelly. Tim, do you want your shells? They were a little tight, <laughs> Tim. I am sure if you are anything like my son, and I just feel like the babies are, that they get, um, they sure. can be talked into anything. Ryder, my son can be talked into absolutely anything. I'm telling you. That kid, want to paint his nails, you want to put a dress on him. It doesn't matter because his sisters do it, so why can't he? Beautiful. This is kind of a salmon. It's more on the salmon side of things than the um, champagne color. Six, six and a half, seven, oh, seven and a half, seven and a half. Just a minute, guys. I've got to do something here. What does it say about me? You don't. It's joined. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay. So we are saving Tim's shells for him. Tim, when you get them, make sure to just wash them with a like dishwater, uh, light soapy dishwater, and set them out to dry thoroughly before putting them into any like apothecary or anything like that. Here is your next one. So again, we're gonna finish opening Tim's tray. And then open for uh, Dana Kavanaugh. And then we will be doing our blingo and drawings. There is that one. No, it's very salmon y. It's like more with salmon with like a kind of a probably a goldish overtone to it. Oh, grass, grass. Okay. Well, actually, it's probably, it's actually so close it could be almost twins. Same uh, salmon color. I wish I could, I can't raise my eyebrows any other time than when I'm like, Six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Look at this. This is like seriously. Oh, they're like, really close. Very, very close. Look at that. Oh. Look at those colors. So stinking close. So when somebody puts an angry face up, I just like to make faces at them. Just so you guys know, I'm not being I, I'm not being rude or anything. Well, you know, just weird. It's just okay. weird. It's okay. I am. It's okay. I am weird. We encourage that. Okay. Why did everybody go so quiet? Where is everybody? Don't believe her. She's crazy, said Shaylin. <laughs> Whatever, Shaylin. It takes a crazy to know a crazy. We went over this last night. Don't you remember? Okay. So, Tim, don't show your sister. She'll steal it. Look at that beautiful blue. Look at that gorgeous blue. It is pretty. Yeah, it, 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 ma it matches the flakes in my nails. Oh, it does. Aw, oh, thank you, Sophia. Five and a half, whatever, Dad. Six, six and a half, seven. Where the heck do you think I learned the stuff from? We're so weird in our family. We're not even joking. You know, like you play Chubby Bunny. You know what Chubby Bunny is? When you take the um, normal size, like marshmallows, and you try to see how many you can fit in your mouth while still saying Chubby Bunny. Oh, no. Never we did. played it at like uh, camp and stuff. And I remember playing it at youth group. Like everybody tried to stick. Anyway, we did it with eggs. My dad and I, we could fit a lot of eggs in our mouth. That's all I got to say about that. That is why. 
I'm so good at a job like this because I have a big mouth. Just talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Shaylin, boiled eggs. Not raw eggs, obviously. Boiled eggs. Ooh. Yep, gross. That's what she said. Ooh, look at all those little parasites on there. Algae. Hmm. Oh, Paula, you weren't supposed to look. I forgot to tell you. Close your eyes. Still, ew. <laughs> Shaylin, she was like, I don't care what it is. It's ew. Um, this one is pretty. Look at this beautiful yellow. Gorgeous yellow. Hard boiled eggs are the best, Vicky. Six, six and a half, seven. Except when you were in your our house as a kid, because our my dad had bad gas from him. <laughs> Nobody ever wanted to eat eggs around him. It's like holidays. Holidays, he always wants everybody to make, or he wants me actually now, because my grandma used to do it, but now I do it, make uh, deviled eggs. And we're like, but dad, then he wants us to come back for leftovers the next day, like when we have turkey dinner or something. Nobody wants to come back over for leftovers when he did that. No, 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 no. Oh, egg salad sandwich sounds good. <laughs> um... My husband wants to make pickled eggs. This time when we get done with the pickles for the pickle jar, he yeah. wants to make pickled eggs. I hear that's good. Yes, my dad has chickens. He took over some of my chickens when I got rid of mine. Oh, And he has... Well, hello, Michelle. Bonjour. Kimberly. Hello, hello. Ooh, this last shell is really pretty. Look at that Ma, Ma Bay Pearl. Holy cow, I can't keep a hold of the dang thing. Look at that Ma Bay it's making in there. Hello, hello. How are you, Miss Kimberly? Oh my gosh. I one time made pickled beets. I'm so good. I was so excited. I made pickled beets. I ate so many of them when they were warm. Oh, I never want to eat a pickled beet again in my life beautiful black it's got the silver overtone to it kind of actually coppery on that one side six six and a half seven seven black look at those colors beautiful Tim gorgeous gorgeous colors thank you Tim so much for your order my dear you? Yeah. I, I, I mean, they're salads. so, yeah, I actually will eat them again, but uh, there for a while though, I wouldn't because I ate, I seriously ate like a cereal bowl of beets, like, and they weren't like cold, but they weren't warm, they were still kind of a little bit warm, tempered kind of. Yeah. Pretty. Good, Kimberly. Oh, <laughs> she said, gorging on frozen strawberries again. How are you? Amazing. That I know that blue that blue was gorgeous, almost a neon blue. Yum, lemon is my favorite flavor. I'm pretty sure, like, oh, thank you, Tim. Thank you so much. Um, what are those lemon bars? Oh, lemon cake, lemon cookies, lemon, 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 and I. Still have not made that stinking lemon lush that Miss Sheila gave me the recipe to. I gotta go make that one of these days. Oh yeah, I love lemon poppy seed. Just lemon, lemon anything. Guess what? I oh gosh, I forgot to make something. I was supposed to make homemade pico de gallo, but I forgot. <laughs> Bottle of stuff I forgot. Awesome. Okay, Miss Dana, where are you, my dear? Dana Kavanaugh.
That's awesome. Make it for Addie's birthday? I don't know. Maybe. Miss Dana. Where did you go, Miss Dana? Dana Kavanaugh. Where did you go, my dear? Dana, Dana, Dana. There you are. And it, yes, it's for Miss Debbie. It's for Miss Debbie. So I need to know which number you would like off the punch board. We have number 2 through 12, 14 through 16, and 18 and 19. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, and 19. shipping to um, Canada. Oh, yeah. Now I'm hungry. Mom used to make wheat pies. Lemon, chocolate, coconut and pies are amazing. Oh, yum. Maybe I need to go make a dessert. I told the kids no more baking in the house. No, I don't know about that. Okay, number 12. Number 12. You're welcome. Miss, this is for Miss Donna. Got a purple apothecary, so you can save your shells in here, or your pearls, or whatever you might want. There is a manicure set, a bath scrubby. Keep in mind, guys, all these little gifts are just extras for you guys, little extras. Hello Kitty socks, super cute gift bag. And three oysters. So that was a $50 purchase and it is $60 just in oysters. You guys stick around. We're going to play Blingo just after I open for Miss Donna. Dana, would you guys like the shells kept? Yes, the shells are you. Awesome, Dad. I'm sure you do. I can't wait to see them. I'm going to make you put them on. I'm taking a picture, and I'm going to send it. I'll put it on our page so everybody can see it. <laughs> I'm going to tag everybody in it. Be like, Barb, Karen, Vicki, Sheila, check this out. Miss Debbie, would you like your shells? Yes, please. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Here's the first one. Look, I got quiet in here. We turned off R2-D2. We'll make Aww. them fit. He wears size like, I don't know, 900? 13 or 14. Yeah, like Bo's big feet. Bo's a four. Justin wears size 15s and 16s. Oh my gosh. That's why our children are, have humongous feet. And they're so expensive to buy the bigger sizes. Oh, yeah. Not as much anymore, but I remember when my dad trying to, uh, as a kid, trying to go to Fred Meyer, and I remember it was a huge deal when you'd see that. Remember they'd have that one top shelf that had like that number 16 or that size 17 on it? And it'd be like, whoa. Oh. Beautiful pink for Miss Debbie. Oh no, Miss Darla. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. That's pretty. One of my twins wears a size 11. The other one wears a size 12. Cameron wears a size 10 or 11, depending on what it is. Reagan's only eight and wears a women's size seven and a half to eight. Oh. Yeah. It's crazy. In my house, shoes are expensive. An expensive venture. Beautiful. Yes, it is. Awesome, Debbie. I'm so glad you like it. They're beautiful. If 
You see, the whole night when you have that on, it just blows the air away from you. Then you get to smell them. When I stop. Yeah, when you turn the air conditioner So you mean I'm shoving it back at you? I'm not oh, I don't even care. It's right under my nose. Hi, Sarge. You come it's say It's a hi. beautiful champagne. Hey, Steph. Hello, sister, sister. Five and a half. Six. Six and a half from Miss Donna. Get your blingo numbers in, guys. Blingo numbers. Blingo, blingo. I have a special order of shoes for Robin Monday. Yeah. Okay. One more to open for Miss Donna. Then we're going to be playing some blingo and doing the drawings. motorcycle it sounded like it was farting out the window my 12 year old son was a 10 and a half see what the heck is up with big feet okay miss debbie last and final one gorgeous gorgeous colors what kind of drawings for uh following liking and sharing um customer drawing grab bag and grab bag drawing Grab big winner tonight oh. gets. When you hit. Vicky wanted to know, was it the double tray? Yeah. Did you do another one, Miss Vicky, or was it just a double tray, my dear? Let me see. Let me check the. Let me check. Oh, Miss Vicky. No, she put in another order. Okay, it hasn't come up yet. Dad, yeah, it's a, it's another double tray. That's why you think you, you probably thought you already looked at it and it was a new one. Oh, oh, Stephanie, seriously, Dad? <laughs> Got it, Miss Vicky. Miss Debbie, look at this one. It's a beautiful black. Beautiful black. It's got like a copper overtone to it. It is gorgeous. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half black with a gold or like a coppery overtone. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Thank you, Miss Debbie, for your order. And you have a most amazing night. So glad you were able to get back on here without any, well, you obviously had problems on your end, but you were at least able to get on here and see your order opened. Okay, guys, we're going to do some drawings, play some blingo. Let's see here. Blingo, blingo, blingo. Okay. Are we ready for some blingo? Yes. Then we will have two trays to open for Miss Vicky, and then Kim's uh, Kimberly Booth's uh, hostess gift from us, and hopefully she's going to be on here by then. For Blingo, any five numbers from 1 to 75, any five numbers, post it in the comments. Make sure you write it down and screenshot it. Dad, you're such a weirdo. Stephanie's probably sitting there in the house with you. How are you, Stephanie? He asks her on here. <laughs> really? You guys are probably sitting on the couch looking at each other from across the room or something. Okay. Waiting for you guys to get your last minute numbers in. I'll do the drawings. Auntie Pearl is going to try to sneak out of here for a second. Right. That's okay. Okay. Follow, like, and share drawing. Winner is Shelly Strasser. Shelly Strasser gets 
Hi, Elaine. The horse cage. Customer drawing. Gets. Diana Rivera. Diana Rivera. Okay. Oh, yep. That one gets dumped. You're up. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Shelly. Be sure to go claim your prizes, guys. Go to our website, islandpearlslive.com. Click on the drawing winners option at the top of the page. Fill out the I'm a winner form. Get it into us. Uh, oyster in the cage. Okay. We're three. Okay. Either one. It's. Hi, Karen. We're just getting ready to play Blingo if you'd like to get your numbers in. Grab bag drawing. And it is Diana Rivera. How weird. Diana, I'm pretty sure you should go play the lottery. Karen, you never told me, or I don't remember you ever telling me, that there was four girls and a boy in your family, and he was the youngest, just like my family. Same why Why mothers. did I not know this, huh? I've, there's three girls and a boy. My yeah. brother's the youngest. The baby. Spoiled. Spoiled rotten. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you want to do with... Uh, we'll do 30, that's fine. Okay. Okay. We're going to play some Blingo, guys. No kidding, Kimberly. Diana has been lucky. I'm telling you, she should go play some lottery. Okay, I'm going to call the number, show you, and post it. 56... Sixty-one. My dad only thinks he's funny, Karen. Tell him off. <laughs> you playing blingo, Karen? Because we all know it's Karen's favorite game. Nine. No, Willie, I'm not. No, Willie, no, I'm not. Twenty-five. Four. Eleven. Oh, Amber, you missed it. You're supposed to hang out with us. Stick around. Fifty-two. Fifty-two, fifty-two, fifty-three, twelve. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for Christmas. I know some people will probably be like, you're nuts, but I can't wait. Five. Oh, well, if you hopped in the shower, that's a good excuse. And if your phone was dying, well then, no wonder you couldn't watch. 59. 59. Now, if Diana wins this, I'm going to know that something's up. 17, and she's definitely going to have to go play the lotto. Oh, man, Amber. That's how it goes every time, right? Sophia, bah humbug. 33. Oh, Merla, 
because see, I told you, 16. I told somebody earlier, that's what happens when you don't play your numbers. They get called. 21. Forty-one, yes, Mindy, that's fine. You don't have to, but you can. Twenty-eight, but it's too late to put numbers in now if you don't use the ones you posted earlier. So you may as well use them, the ones you did earlier. I know, and I just told everybody the same thing tonight, Miss Amber. 20. I was like, about the time you quit playing those numbers, you're going to win with them. 7. 32. So I'm not sure what's going on as far as Friday and going live. 49. Maybe we'll try a test run and see how it goes from the fairgrounds. Sometimes it has really cruddy service. Oh no, Miss Merla. 74. Hi, Karen. We miss you, by the way. You better pop in and say hi more often, Miss. But uh, hopefully you feel better and get rid of the headache. I will chat with you later, my dear. We have an event in, here, uh, our fair, our county fair, 27. So we have a booth at the county fair. So I'm not sure what's going to go on for Friday night. 15. Hey, Aaron, are you coming up this weekend? Down, however you want to look at it. Laters, baby. 26. Seventy-five. She hates this game, Tim. Karen absolutely despises this game. Thirty-one. Thirty. Thirty-seven. Ten. Two. Sophia, I'm really not liking it myself. Sorry. <laughs> 70. Hey, what better things do you have to do on this Tuesday evening than to sit here and play Blingo? And Vicky Dumas won. <gasps> really? 25, wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. Awesome. 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 Oh, oh, yeah, I will later. Congratulations. Awesome. Awesome, Miss Vicky. Yay. I don't even know what. Oh, I forgot to put my balls away. Ugh. Could get you in trouble somewhere. A lots of somewheres, actually. Except for if you're in Seattle or Portland. You can ride your bike nude. Men, women, whatever. Yes, Miss Vicky Doom has one.
<laughs> Aaron's laughing. Aaron, did you even answer me? Are you coming down this weekend? Did you answer me? Aaron, you ignored my question. Mm-hmm. Are you talking to Sam? Night, Sheila. Thank you for checking in, my dear. Have a good night. Uh, I thought they have, like, a nude bike ride or something, Shaylin. Yeah, they do. In Seattle? They have a nude bike ride, silly. You just don't know about I, it because you don't ride in it. She had I know because I'm hiding behind the bushes watching. Just yeah. joking. Ugh. Who want? Oh, I just had some serious, horrible visuals. Um, we didn't even pick for Miss Vicky. Oh, I guess I better pick a cage for Miss Vicky. Thank you, Miss Shaylin. We will. Creeper. <laughs> Here is a fish. This one holds two. <laughs> Paula, yes, they do. It's gross. Uh, yeah, Amber, no kidding. Ugh. Yuck. Okay, so we are going to finish opening for Miss Vicky. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Ooh, that's a good one. Eight. Hi, Amanda. Nine. And ten. Uh, Amber, I was being serious about the nude bike ride. Serious, serious, serious. There's a nude bike ride. It's so gross. And no, I was not creeping in the bushes. That part I was not serious about. Who wants to see that? We have a man here on Puget Island. That rides around. He's an old man. He's probably like probably in his seventies. Like he's an older man, and he rides around in a speedo. Have you seen him? Mm -mm. How have you never? He's on this road. I don't pay attention to anybody. When I used to live over here, the kids would be like, "Oh, mom, here comes the half. Here comes the naked man again." Because <laughs> he's coming around here. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Put a whole new meaning to road rash, wouldn't it, Miss Paula? Night, Dad. I'll be there later. Good night, Willie. Here is for Miss Vicky. Yeah, that would be... Oh, I don't even know. Could you imagine as a female riding a bike naked? That would hurt. Well, it hurts when nice. you have clothes on. Awesome. I mean, I, I am all right with nudity, just not riding a bike nude. I went to Nude Beach with my sister once, and I was the only one with clothes on. They stared at me. <laughs> They're undressing you with their eyes. <sighs> silver. Beautiful silver. <laughs> they really do play one-handed volleyball. They hang on to... Yeah? Yeah. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half. Oh, yeah, if not, you're going to be... Bouncing. I knocked myself out. Yeah. Aaron, imagine playing naked volleyball. Yeah, no, hard visual there. Yeah, no kidding, Paula. Saddle sore. <laughs> That's a whole new meaning to saddle sore. Elizabeth, that is funny. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just went back to like my childhood to banana seat bikes. <laughs> Oh my word. Oh my word. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> awesome. Miss Vicky. What colors do you want, Miss Vicky? She doesn't care. She just loves pearls. She just loves pearls. <laughs> Hear it. Aaron, are you coming to the Puget Island house this weekend? Aaron Howe, I'm speaking to you. Beautiful yellow. She wants a lime green. Yeah, no kidding, Paula. 
Oh, dang it. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven yellow. That stinks, Aaron. We have the fair. <laughs> Sorry. Don't read the comments out loud then. <laughs> Nice. So are you going to come up either of those days? I think you should come up uh, Sunday after work and hang out Sunday and Monday with us. She could come Friday and help me at the booth. Because you are going to be there. No, I won't morning. be here Thursday. Friday oh, th I'll be there. Oh, Thursday morning. So come up Wednesday, tomorrow night after work, and help... Uh, Auntie Pearl at the booth. She would love you for it. I mean, she loves you already, but she would really love you for it. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful. That rosy pink. Hmm. She's like, hmm. Beautiful rosy pink. Gorgeous. By the way, guys, we have a special to this evening. It's one oyster opening and one plated Cajun chain for $35 purchase price. The bedding is clean. <laughs> Five and a half, six, six and a half. Six and a half rose color. Beautiful. <laughs> Amber, she made me promise to never do it. Uh, yeah, uh, there's just all kinds of wrong in it. Could you imagine, though, like, I am all about, I think that our country, uh, as far as the United States, is one of the only countries that um, views nudity the way that we view it. However, something like that is a little excessive. Hi, Jamie. How are you? grossed out over plumber's crack. Yeah, but that's only because we were taught that. You know, you were taught that in your childhood, likewise was I, that it's nudity is not okay. And so, uh, well, except for my mom. My mom was a nudist, but yeah. But if we were raised in a country where it was okay, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have thought anything of it. Yeah, it'd be just normal. This is a gorgeous yellow. Look at how beautiful that yellow is. Oh my gosh. The camera doesn't even do it justice right this minute. Like, it's so beautiful. Yes, exactly, Paula. And bike riding is one of them. Five and a half, six. Six and a half. <laughs> we were at the rodeo this year. And, uh, who was it that said something? One of the kids that was with us said something about how do those bucking bronc riders and the bull riders, uh, how are their down belows very safe? It was pretty funny. I was like, well, good question. Maybe you should ask them that. I'm sure they were padding or something. The dog, Miss Kimberly, is outside. They get mad because we, um, I was going to say we, but where Bo and his mom live and Sam live, there is a, um, Right in the backyard is a slough, kind of a small like river or ravine kind of, and there is geese that go by and the dogs like to bark at them. Or if there's deer in the backyard, anytime there's a deer, they are going crazy. Or stray cats. And they they all know the dogs can't get out of the fence. I can't tell you how many times a deer Amber, stood that's so there funny. and just looked at them like they're idiots. <laughs> That's funny, Miss Paula. Let's see, Miss Vicky. I'm trying to get you a lime green. This is not working very well. Oh, my lime green vibes are gone. Somewhere. Maybe in the next five we open. Here is a triple. I would like you to verify this when you get it, Miss Vicky, that it looks chocolatey purple. Because to you guys online, it looks kind of a purple color. To us right here, it looks chocolatey. And I can see that it looks purple when I put it up to the camera. It's crazy. Six, six and a half, seven, seven chocolatey purple. How's that? 
it's a crazy thing, Miss Vicky. But I know that you, having bought um, you know, enough pearls or whatever, know that the tr color you see on screen is so not the color. I mean, it is the color, but not in the magnificent like appeal that it is when you get them in person. <laughs> whatever, Miss Paula. Did you see her? It's because I put all my vibes into giving everyone except her blue. <laughs> It's not true, but you are funny. You are, ooh, look at that. Look at that parasite. Awesome. Awesome. Mostly the dogs sit in air conditioning. They go outside and... Yeah, they're very, they're very spoiled dogs. Very. Bo's little uh, dog, he's had forever. Wiener. <laughs> he's a wiener. <laughs> His wiener dog, Spanky. It's a oh. true story. Her daughter wants to see a uh, Oh, I'll, I'll find another parasite, Miss Amber, just a minute. Now you're going to put me in a search for a parasite. Of course, the only time I want to find one, I'm not going to find one. How does that happen? Anyway. I think they're doing a better job at scrubbing their shells. Okay, Miss Amber. You check this out. You can see all those little white spots in there. Those are parasites. But they do get much bigger. That probably has some red green. You think so? No, but just because. Hmm. Probably. Okay. Miss Vicky, a beautiful black. It's got like the purple hue to it. Hey, cinnamon. Six and a half, seven, seven and a half. Oh, she's welcome. You should have seen when I was educating like kids about how um, oysters make pearls this weekend when we were at the Pirates Festival. Kids were like, really? But what's funny is most of the parents didn't know. They just assumed it was from out in nature. Like, this is what I love. When people were like, well... We went to uh, um, Hawaii and they dove down and grabbed me an oyster and it had two beautiful black pearls. And I'm like, do you not think those are cultured? Because the chances of diving down in the ocean and finding one perfect oyster mm -hmm. that has a um, pearl in it is slim to none. That's where I got my first oyster like this. So what they do is much like this. They culture them, but they grow them right there by wherever they're diving for them at. They go down and plant them, basically, and then they let them grow, and then they go down and dive down and get one. It was pretty funny, but the parents were all pretty, um, in, like, interested in how they were made, and uh, also um, very interesting to me that people didn't know how to take care of their pearls. No chemicals. No chemicals on them. No chemicals whatsoever. In fact, you shouldn't shower with them on. You should only um, put your makeup and face washes and perfumes and lotions on before you put your pearls on. Always. Cle Cleopatra used to show her strength mm -hmm. by melting a pearl in her wine. Really? Mm -hmm. Beautiful white. Because it'll eat them right up. Because they're so precious. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. That's awesome, Miss Paula. I was telling them, I was like, you could eat thousands of oysters through your life. Like, you could really eat thousands of oysters. I mean, not that anybody's going to eat thousands of oysters, but you could. And never, ever, ever chomp down on a pearl. Ever. Um, because it's a fluke accident. I mean, you get a natural pearl like that is very valuable. Oh, thank you, Miss Amber. Well, there was this poor lady there. I felt horrible for her. She'd went to Hawaii. She'd spent the money on um, doing the, like, the oyster, like, somebody dived down and grabbed her an oyster. 
She got a beautiful black pearl. So her husband had a ring for her. She had gained a lot of weight. So she said, I couldn't wear my wedding ring anymore. So my husband told me he'd made, have a ring made for me. So at that place, they make you rings. She's like, it was a diamond ring with my black pearl set in it. She's like, nobody ever told me not to uh, use cleaners or anything while I was wearing them. She's like, and all of a sudden, my pearl had no shine. It was ugly and it started to crack. It got a fissure in it because it weakened it and it broke. So she doesn't have a ring anymore. So she actually asked me if she was um, able to send us her ring and we would, could reset a new pearl in it for her. And I said, more than welcome. We would love to. She was like, that would be amazing. Rose, oh, that, no, it's a rose. Uh, well, kind of a rose color. Or the mauve color, I should say. More of the mauve color. Hi, Julie. How are you tonight? Hey, guys. Uh, we can play numbers game one more time. If everybody wants to pick number, any one number from 1 to 75, post it in the comments. Make sure to take a screenshot of it. In case you win, that way you can verify it. Anybody's more than uh, welcome to play. It does not cost anything to play. You guys are more than welcome to uh, join us. Also, we do have a special tonight. One oyster and one plated cage and chain for $35 purchase price. Six, six and a half, seven. If you guys are interested in going to our website, islandpearlslive.com and checking it out, you can do that as well. We have a lot of cage options. We have chains. We have all kinds of uh, charms as well. Bracelets. We do mounting. So all of our purchase prices that you see on all of our mounted uh, settings, that includes the mounting cost. There's no extra cost for mounting. It, and mounting is included. Hello. I know it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Miss Paula, make sure to look away from the camera. <laughs> beautiful blue. Look at that. That is a gorgeous blue. Just so everybody knows, when somebody puts an angry face, I make a face back at them. So I see lots of angry faces because Miss Pollock, she's like, screw you, Lisa, you didn't give me a blue. Five and a half, six, six and a half blue. One day, Paula, you know what? You're going to order something. It's going to be like an all, every shade of blue is going to be in your order. Awesome, Travis. I know, Miss Cinnamon with her pink. Miss uh, Paula with the blue. Really red. Yeah. He finally got his reds. Hard blue. And all Miss Vicky wants is a lime green. I know, and I'm failing at that one too. It's just because I want you guys to stick here and hang out with me. No, I really have no control. <laughs> I really have none. <laughs> Miss Paula, I'm okay with that. Look at this. This is like a gold. Look at this beautiful uh, gold color. Miss Paula, did you see what Miss Vicky just said? Six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. It's like a gold color. Look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's Look at these gorgeous colors. Okay, Miss Miss Vicky said to give this one to Miss Paula. Paula Wakefield. Miss Paula, you don't have an order tonight. Would you put in a uh, drawing winners? Um, she fill one out that way we can get you this um, blue pearl that Miss Vicky gave to you. Uh, yes, they are, Miss Diana. They're gorgeous colors, absolutely gorgeous colors. Beautiful. 
beautiful colors and not too even the same too close but not even the same look at that gorgeous colors thank you miss vicky like this the rose colored one miss vicky are you talking about Okay, thank you, Miss Paula. Okay, so Miss Diana won the customer drawing and the grab bag winner drawing. The rose pink one. Cinnamon, do you want the rose pink one? Miss Vicky wanted to know if you would be happy with the rose pink one. This one right here. This one here. This one. This one. This one. Aw, this one. I know, being goofball. Well, you owe Miss Vicky so many thank yous. Miss Vicky is absolutely amazing and um, wants to just see everybody happy. She's such an amazing woman. She is. Miss Cinnamon, I need you to do the same thing. Go fill out the drawing winners, the drawing winners option. And so we have uh, a way for you to follow and track the um, order. Well, Miss Brittany, get an order put in, my dear. Okay, so Miss Diana, we have a $30 grab bag for her and one extra oyster. Okay, let's see. I will never angry face the blues again. <laughs> nice, Paula. I'll go. At you anyway. How do you think about that? What do you think about them apples? Okay. She's honoring. I am honoring. Okay, Miss Diana, you've got... Oh, look at the little Hello Kitty dispenser. And one of the angelfish cages and chain... And a Hello Kitty ring. Also, one oyster opening, and this is the, for the grab bag winnings. And then another oyster for your customer draw, drawing winnings. Hmm. Okay. Oh, such a sweetheart, Miss Vicky. We love you too. Miss Cinnamon on our website, islandpearlslive.com. Actually, I'll send you the link if you want afterwards. Send me a message and remind me. Be like, Lisa, remind me about the drawing winners. Okay, first one we're opening is for Miss Diana's. Customer drawing. Look at this. Gorgeous black. Yeah. Look at that gorgeous black. It's got like a dark blue hue to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half black. Don't forget, guys, we're going to play numbers game one more time. Pick any one number from 1 to 75. Post it in the comments and make sure to take a screenshot. Also, if there's uh, anybody new here, if you could give us a thumbs up or a smiley face on our post. Beware, if you give me an angry face, I give you guys a face. Yes. Anyhow. That was that one, Miss Diana. That one was gorgeous. Now, this last one for Miss Diana. We have one oyster to open then for Miss Kimberly Booth. Pull it out of here really quick. Ooh. Did we ever find out what cage? Is she off work? Or? She's not off work yet. 
Night, Vicky. Thank you for joining us, my dear. Have Thank a great you. night and have a fantastic day at work tomorrow. Miss Amber, are you still on here? Miss Amber. Oh, and then this one goes with everything. This is one of my favorite colors, Miss Diana, because it picks up any color that you are wearing. It's a beautiful silver. Did anybody, people make angry faces at me? Let's she just pretend. Like doing that. Let's just pretend. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half silver. Emphasis, yes. Um, I was just gonna say that I found a good parasite. If your child or your daughter, I think you said, wanted to see it, I found a good parasite. Oh, it's a big one too. Ew. Ew. Yes, the silver ones take on whatever color you're wearing, so it's just amazing, amazing. Okay. So I'll show you this parasite. Now I joked about when I first started opening these for Bo on live, I was joking about it being a parasite. Then one day I actually broke one off and it actually had a worm in it. I was like, oh my gosh, I was right. It is a parasite. So they take these oysters and scrub them, hand scrub them twice a year to clean off all those parasites and all the barnacles and stuff to ensure that the pearl growth stays on track. Here is Miss Kimberly Booth's. Well, what is up with this? We have not had silvers in forever. Okay, Miss Paula, thank you. Look at that beautiful silver. Gorgeous silver. Five, five and a half, six, six and a half silver. Why is this printer not working? Um... I, I don't know. I was going to ask you when we're done if you could bring it up on that one. It okay. won't print here for me. Okay. Awesome. We will find out from Miss Kimberly Booth which one she would like. Anyhow, guys, let's play our last round of numbers game, see who's the winner, and then we're going to, unless somebody wants to sneak in a last minute order on us, which is fine and dandy with me, we are, um, we are taking orders www.islandpearlslive.com Our special tonight is one oyster, one plated cage and chain for a $35 purchase price. Did you see that? I ever thought she got caught giving you angry faces. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. You just told on yourself. I just got Paula Wakefield's. Okay. Thank you, Paula. Okay, numbers game it is. Hi, Lindsay. Lindsay Napper. I see you. Well, I don't really see you, but I see that you're online. Like again, uh, like I said again, guys, if you're in here, on here and you're new, if you could give us a thumbs up, like like our um, live video, a heart, a, ha a laughing face, a wow, a crying face, or uh, an angry face. Whatever. We'd love it. That would be amazing. Oh, that's what you guys get when you put an angry face. Yes, Miss Vicky's amazing. Okay, are you guys ready? Does everybody have the numbers ready? Because I'm going to show mine now. 75. The person closest to 75. Obviously, you can't go over, but the person close, Sophia, I see you. See you making the face. Person closest to this number, obviously, you can't go over, so 75. Amber goes, that was not, not me. My eyes are a little watery now. Aww. I seen you, Sophia. Oh, Miss Paula. Hi, Tim. Who had the number closest to 75? Are you guys even paying attention? 
I'm going to, meanwhile, no, I'm just joking. <coughs> Donna had 60. Anybody over 60? Shelly had 66. Anybody over 66? Tim Snyder, didn't you just put a bomb here? Did you, or did you actually have a number? Yeah, he, no. Just curious. Okay. Shelly, didn't she just win earlier? She did. She won the follow, like, and share drawing. She did, she did. Shelly, you got an anchor cage, my dear. She already won once, I think, tonight. Mm -hmm. 75. Hi, Heather. Are you guys all, um, have you guys found a house yet, Miss Heather? Awesome, guys. Well, it was a great night to hang out with you guys. I had so much fun. Uh, again, we're at the local um, fair this weekend, so I'm not sure what's going to go on for Friday. Be watching for us, for sure. Uh, make sure that you, if you're on here watching, that you've liked our page. Awesome, Miss Heather. Well, it's moving along then. Um, also, do remember that we do have Sensi as well. Bo Renfro, B-E-A-U-R-E-N-F-R-O dot Sensi, S-C-E-N-T-S-Y dot U-S. It's his site. Anyhow, um, join us Friday night if we're on. Or if not, we will definitely be on here Sunday. Okay, Miss Diane, I will do that as soon as I'm off here, my dear. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Good night.